Black Star Canyons at the foot of the Santa Ana Mountains. Rumors of satanic rituals. This whole land, as soon as we started coming into it, has a strong sacred presence to it. I have never seen indigenous people come up here to Black Star Canyon and make contact. The shadow's already running around. What are you feeling? You're explaining what's, what's going on. I feel like I'm not human while these are here. You're not. Ah. Yelp for cover. Okay, can you get to the side? Grave robbers for Indian bones and everything. They used to sell those back in the day. Lights on. All lights on. On or off? On. On? On. On. Everything on. Death. When you smell death like this, you see that something just died. Or there's death spirits walking by. I'm going based off the human world time right now. What the? You're bleeding? And Sorano, also known as the Takta. And Yuhavatian people. They held this canyon sacred. And they had several settlements dating back thousands of years, if not longer. Black Star Canyon, a remote mountain canyon in the Santa Ana Mountains. At this site, there have been documented massacres. One such massacre happened in 1831 over the false assumption that the indigenous peoples stole horses to consume. Later research and discovery showed that these claims were false. After some time, the Europeans found the canyon to have coal and thus, several coal mines and coal mine towns, such as Carbondale, sprung up in the area. Beyond the hauntings, seemingly brought about by the genocides, rumors of cult activities, satanic rituals, murders, and deaths of various causes, and even sightings of cryptids, all branch from this location. Unearthing the supernatural, has been called to investigate this spiritually active site and try to unearth the reasons for all the spiritual activity. So this is Zero, Sean Glenn, on our way to the Black Star Canyon. We're about 27 minutes out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Will the crew make contact with some ancient beings? And what could be the cause for all the modern spiritual activity? And is it safe for people to explore and participate in recreational activities. We're at the Black Star Canyons at the foot of the Santa Ana Mountains. We've traveled all the way from Arizona and what really piqued our interest is this land in it by itself. You go up about, I'd say about 10 miles up this trail and there's an indigenous village up that way. This whole land, as soon as we started coming into it, has a strong sacred presence to it. I feel excited to meet the new spirits that are out this way, so come join us. I hope.
So one thing I want to point out at this particular junction, we're still very early on in our hike, but I want to point out two major kind of factors, two major things that could be feeding, if any, spiritual activity here. We have a very powerful flowing river that is not used to flowing, uh, at least in these past few years with the dry season that's been coming around. Now we've been getting a lot of rain, so it's flowing. It's feeding energy again. People could come here, they claim to hear voices, claim to hear this. I don't think so. I've never seen, I don't know if you guys watch it, if you've ever seen them, other than these two, I've never seen indigenous people come up here to Black Star Canyon and make contact with any indigenous spirits that are up here. Now that we have actual indigenous people, they might come out. Another thing I want to point out, if you look straight up here, we have power lines that are leading up the canyon. Just here at this junction already, you have electricity, man-made electricity, and nature-made energy. So, we'll see if these two worlds meet and if they bring any spiritual contact. Shoshuti, Kennis and say, Honey, a ho ho, yes, in this dotty on da, is she on the hey ha? A hoots, cheat on the essence, the eight on the hay, a oss, the eight and a half passes, the janty is so, you poor to her. Can't in the day, she say, John, the kid in her da. スパンソティでしょ。ケディアナホツエディンタオツ。ショウカ。イキイキ。エンティオニ。アステオナロ。シシシャンタ。アネコンザイ。バカホ。ビシケジシャンナヘテダディホンシス。セネティ。アナ。
they went ahead and redug up the bones and all that and sold them. Yeah. You know what's interesting? I'm smelling is bug repellent. Are you smelling that? It smells like a mosquito mosquito spray. Might be one of the plants, just to kind of keep the bugs away. But that's just I'm getting a hardcore like bug repellent spray smell. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Yeah, we'll keep rolling. We'll keep rolling. It's From here on out, guys, keep the chatter to a minimum. People walking. Tide Venus. That's Venus up there by the moon, isn't it? I just got done talking with the moon. So, a couple before the people come, I just got done talking to a water spirit that's here. Very interesting that it says Tide and Venus. Very connected to water. Stars. Right. Position, Position for, for this tribute. tribute. Stars. We should do it. We should do it. It's today. today. <laughs> Lights off. Wait, wait. It's in the tail. Oh, it's a shiny. It's a gun. Sounds enough to hide. It's I can't help us. You see him in the bushes? No, oh, I heard it. It was like. Yeah. You, you, you see it kind of reflecting up there? Yeah. And then I'll right up there too. Use your eyes and see it right there and right up there. Yeah. I'll send it to you, that's what I'm going to do. I'll send it to you. 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 Set 
Ich ist schon Should I pay attention to it if that reads out anything? Yeah. What are you seeing? What are you feeling? Ex explain what's, what's going on. I feel like I'm not human walking through here. You're not. When I heard that, sh 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 sh, like I don't feel human no more. So when we crossed that that river right there is where we kind of went over. Like it's it's weird. I feel everything. It's cool, but yeah, it's just weird. Right. Okay. We'll say I keep feeling and hearing people like walking, walking around, around us. us. Yeah. I was gonna say anything. All right. See. So just to let you guys know that kind of coming up here I interacted with a water being spirit her name is Mahaspa and so she is kind of guiding us through here when we, uh, when we crossed the water and the bridge that was back there we crossed into the spirit realm we were met immediately by guardians that were here and so we still hear the guardians kind of running around out in the sides of the trees but we're also kind of on the trail of trying to find um, more evidence. I've already discovered that this is a very sacred spot. This whole canyon is a very sacred spot. They do not like people coming through, um, especially in the nighttime, because this is when they do their ceremonies. We have special permission to be able to do that. Um, strength, it says, as, as I'm talking about that. We have the strength to be able to come through here to be able to, to talk. So, with that, we're going to continue on a little bit further. And then we're going to do a ceremony of our own to do offering for them and make sure we don't go too far in. Uh, there's some things out there that they want to make sure we're out for a certain time. Looking at the spiritual past. Hold on. Don't blind you. Uh, don't blind me. <laughs> so my plan is what I'm thinking is we come back around four or five, make the hike to where we need to go, and then investigate. Well, because there's uh, this isn't enough for me. Nothing's ever enough for you. Hey. Well, that's true, but I want to go up there and to their spot where they want us to go. Silver goes wondering if they're going to spring the trap. Do you hear that? Yep. I see. Mm -hmm. That's a woman's voice. Come here early, early. No, no, it'll be empty. Nobody's out. Nobody's out here jogging or anything. Maybe like one or two, so you can walk all the way up. Shh. No, that wasn't. That was me. Maitso, or not maitso? Yep. Yep.
mountain lion. First feather. Yeah. Keep it on, keep it on. Keep it on. Yeah, it's still rolling by the way, it's been rolling this whole time. Yeah, keep it on. Keep it on. It's it's okay. It's it's okay. lights on, all lights on. On or off? On. 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 Everything on. Alright, we're gonna start making our way back. Brother, you lead the way. Roger. I just jumped into the water. Let's do it so. Go to my left. To the left. I'm gonna keep rolling in case we don't. No. Ah. What? Keep going. Okay. Slow the pace a little bit. Doctor D, just go with me. Slow down, slow down. Stay back. So we kind of pulled back from our last location. We heard Nashtuitso, which is a mountain lion. And so we heard a couple of cries kind of up in the hills. So just to let you all know, even though it's dark, we kind of saw in some of the daytime shots, we're in ravines. We're in kind of a close quarters area. So we heard some people walking around the day where there's mountain lion sightings around here. And when we were kind of going up there, we were feeling something, some spiritual stuff happening. And then we were kind of discussing our next move, what we should do. And as we were discussing, we heard the mountain lion cry twice. And then at that point, uh, what were you feeling when, when, you, when you first heard it? Well, I was immediately, it's kind of like when you... Tell look up. That's okay, it's on. That's a little kid singing. Yeah, it's, just, it's just a lot kind of going on right now. For me, this is a first for me because it's I've never felt this much spiritual energy before, like in one location. There's a lot of freaking process right There's now. a lot, definitely. And because of human rules and laws we cannot be out here without risk of getting my car towed so i don't know here and i will discuss what our next moves are but we already kind of got a lot of stuff right now so whether we come back or not you know we'll, we'll go from there but there's definitely a lot of stuff going on here. very active location oh flashlight 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 right by the tree close Like I said, there's a lot of distractions in everything that's happening here. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll decide what we want to do. And, uh, it's, it's a lot like a swirling energy that keeps going around. You not only have the sacred site and its energies around, but you also have the people that are kind of swirling around it. And earlier, the obvious was talking about disturbance and discover. So all this discovery, all these people kind of coming through here, it's disturbing the sacred site, it's disturbing the spirits that are around. And they're used to it. So it's like a swirling whirlwind, kind of. Mm -hmm. and. So we're going to continue forward. We just got word from the spirits that we're going to go back to where we entered the spirit world. 
and we're gonna do a tobacco offering and then we do a little bit of investigating and then we're gonna end our night because our time here is running short. No. No. So from what I know about these areas as well, the spirits are saying, the huge uh, kind of rush for not only coal, there was coal mines here, but there was also Traverse. Traverse. <laughs> so, to finish my thought process. Am not. Am not. Don't traverse. I am not traversing. So don't go there yet. I think there's something moving up there. So we'll just hold it right here for like a few minutes. And I'll tell the story. Uh, keep an eye out there, brother. So, when the spirits were telling me while we were here, and kind of walking down, is that not only was there coal that was found here that they kind of dug a coal mine but the original investigations why they wanted to come out to here beyond just the mission beyond just the beautiful area they were looking for gold uh, the mountain range just northeast of here they found a lot of gold and so they were hoping that there would be gold here as well especially with all the coal where you find coal where you find quartz crystals you'll find usually find gold so you get down to KLT, there's that gold fever that kind of came around and push people along to be able to to find things what are you feeling brother what are you seeing in there eyes on him eyes on him i'm on your right in there it's a beast so this is not traverse so we're holding out right now because the spirits, they called out, not traverse. On um, even you can even see it on here. Am not traverse. That's on the obelisk here. They called it out and they yelled it out, do not traverse. Because because this is a sacred site and this is a sacred area, there are beings beyond just human-sized beings, beyond good and evil. There are beasts that walk around in this canyon here. And so they told us not to traverse because there's a beast that's crossing the river right now. So we should be able to move here shortly once it's get done crossing. This is fucking awesome. I'm talking about me, I'm being selfish right now. Oh. <laughs> you feeling it? Yeah. Good. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> the rule when you're walking with warriors, stay at least one sword swipe length away. <laughs> so he Senses. Hmm? Smell. What, are we, what is it? Cover. Smell it? Yeah. Yeah. Death. It smells like death, right? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Rotten. Okay. He yelled for cover. Can okay, I get to the side? Brother, explain to the camera what's going on while I keep an eye out. Death. I mean, you smell death like this because something just died. Oh, there's death spirits walking by. Oh, I'm just getting a fucking headache right now. Stinks, huh? I'm getting a headache, bro. You're all right, you're all right. I know, I know, I know. I'm just letting you know. I have a camera on him, yeah. That, is this one recording? Get it going. Hey, guy. Go. Wait, 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 wait. Henry, move to the side. The smell's gone. Possibly. So possibly. Mm -hmm. Lights up. Lights up. As much as you can. Oh. Okay. 
you? Are you all right? What time is it? 8.30. That took 10 minutes to get down here. It's going to take about 15 minutes to get down. We have till 10 o'clock. It's a lot harder going up. Seems like a lot longer, especially when you're in the spirit world. Time goes at a different pace. No, you're worried. It's like, by the time we get it, back, it, it won't even be nine. Well, it's like, okay. So I know you guys told me this in the spirit world, time goes by slower. Yeah. In the human world, I'm going based off the human world time right now. What the? Are you bleeding? I sweat. Your hand thing wet? No, put a flashlight in my hands. Okay. Gee, look, it's wet. His whole hands are wet. Like he's been in the water. I'm not sweating, it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> look what it says now. Cover, possibly hunt. So, right now, we're back at the crossroads area, where the spirits, we first entered into the spirit world fully, where the water spirit kind of let us in, and then we're meeting with the guardians. So we're back here now. Brother, come into focus, and let the people know what you're going through. So... I don't know how to explain this in English. <laughs> it's like you're supposed to you're supposed to explain this in the spiritual language. Look at him. Look at him. How how you're how you're supposed to be feeling and everything. It's it was right here when it happened when I heard the gourds up in these trees. I heard the movement and it was like a bunch of them all in this tree right here. I'm wet. I don't know why I'm wet right now. And it's like so for all you viewers out there, it's kind of hard to explain, but in our traditional ways, when you go into ceremony, you partake of holy medicine, and then you go through the ceremony, you you don't you become a spirit in those ceremonies. You're not human anymore, in a sense, to where you're more in tune with the spiritual world and everything. There's ways of how you get to that, where you're, you're connected with everything. And what happened just right here, this bridge just just shot me through that and I'm hypersensitive. Time seems like it's going super quick yet super slow. And it's just like, it's it's a mix of the two because I'm in the human world, but we're walking in the spiritual world. So it's like, it's both trying to process both at the same time. And it's just like, I'm having a hard time. So, so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna fill up my pipe. Um, while I'm filling my pipe, I'm gonna sing a song. Um, Sean Clinton here is gonna be doing some investigating with the equipment. He's gonna pull out the REM pod, he's gonna look at K2, all these different things. And he's gonna be investigating um, while I'm doing tobacco, or, or filling it. And then we're gonna smoke it all together with the spirits here. We are at the crossroads right now, kind of one of the main first bridges when we first come across into, into this canyon here. So this is a very sacred spot of kind of the venture, the journey. So we're gonna go ahead and interact with the spirits. Have some fun. Oh, young A spirits. I um, we're here to investigate. We're here to talk with you guys and just really interact with you all. See what we can try to do about making communication. If there's anything that we need us here, that you need here from us. So, we have this device here, it's called a REM pod, I'm pretty sure other people have brought it here. Can you go up to it, make it light up? All you have to do, all you, ha all you have to do is just come up to it, make it light up just like that. Can you do that for us? We're here to educate the people. 
with these videos that we're gonna make for any travelers who may come through here they're gonna walk with a little bit more respect with where they're going with where they're at so with that you know, pray that they find understanding when they come here and respect for you not only just the land but everything so is there a message that you would like to give to them They almost got it all. Okay. Oh, yeah. they're, all try, right. they're trying to sing with it, huh? Yeah. Back up. How's it going? Oh. Well, thank you for, for trying to make contact. You got a couple words out of it. Oh, good job. Good job. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off now. If you want to make any other noises without this, go ahead. Okay, everyone sit down. Come closer. Keep the cameras rolling, but sit down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey. Oh, no. Right over there? Mm-hmm. So for the people back home, understand, giving thanks for allowing us to come here, showing us what they did, very holy, very sacred spot. It needs to be treated with more respect, more dignity. So hopefully we'll come back tomorrow. If we don't come back tomorrow, then the stories that we learned here, just a little bit, be good. So as I'm walking back, I'm going to be talking to the spirits on our way back to the, to the area. I'll put some. Brother, hmm. put this over the water, do the offering since they mess with you the most. <laughs> over the bridge? Over the bridge, yeah. Don't dump my whole pipe out. Or like, not the pipe itself. <laughs> Please check his pipe. Just kidding. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your teachings. Even though I did kind of lose my grip there a little bit, I learned a lot. Thank you for interacting with me and teaching me and having me experience this again. Thank you. It's been a long time since I've felt this, so I just want to say I'm very grateful for your teachings that you've given to me. Thank you. And I hope this river always flows and you, Spirit, always get what you need and desire. To live long and happy here. Thank you. For those spirits that don't quite understand this language that I'm speaking, I told you, okay, it's, it's an offering, a tobacco offering. Thank you for allowing us to come into the sacred site, for allowing us to share in this amazing area, this beautiful, beautiful area, all the beauty you have. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. In return, we're going to give you this tobacco here as a thank you, as well as an offering. We may come back tomorrow, or it depends on how we feel. But this is not the last time I'm going to come here. I'm gonna come visit here as well. Sometime in my life, sometime I'm gonna come visit here again. I feel that too. in exchange for this tobacco. Thank you for everything. I can't stay on that TV show. Connect in a kidney show. I soon as I got. I'm not half a day when I'm not hope. Though technological communication with the spirits wasn't abundant this night, Hero Shang Clan and their crew indeed felt spiritual interactions and experiences. 
Hiro communicated with the ancient spirits of Black Star Canyon and was able to get some fantastic knowledge and stories about what goes on there. The beings of the canyon expressed that it was okay for people to traverse the area so long as there was offering and respect given each time that they visited. Indeed, this area was especially sacred to the tribes that called the Santa Ana Mountains home. The spirits hoped to one day see a resurgence of the original peoples return to them and host the sacred ceremonies once more. The Unearthing the Supernatural crew was beyond grateful for being given access to walk in their world. Unearthing Supernatural crew likes to thank you, the fans, and all you fellow unearthers for interacting with us and being a part of our journey. This episode will conclude some of the amazing evidence and journeys that we've had, but not to fear. Our journey is not done here. Our interactions with spirits will only grow stronger, and you unearthers will be able to enjoy some brand new content in the near future. This content will feature a more first person point of view of how us indigenous people prepare our warriors to train and interact with spirits of the other side. Remember to think beyond written history. And we are a few of many, one story of thousands. We are unearthing the supernatural. and demons was only scratching the surface. <laughs> Unearthing the Supernatural are a Native American paranormal investigative group that uses ancient teachings and techniques combined with modern technology to make contact with entities of the other side. Tasked with journeying across the lands to help spirits in need from malevolent forces and learn the truth of their stories beyond written history. Join Hero, a medicinal man trained since he was a child in the ancestral ways of spiritual combat and healing. Sean Clan, a warrior trained in the art of shadow to communicate with the darkness from all time periods. Best Paul, the newest member of Unearthing the Supernatural trained to look through the lens and listen to words spoken beyond normal hearing. Brothers in arms who are donned with spiritually blessed weapons and armor to be used only as the last resort to go against the darkness. Join the crew as they are led by the banner of the Silver Eagle Squad using an ancient indigenous language. Without it, it's it's Introduce new spiritual beings you never knew existed. Whoa! Dude, that was a cry! Witness evidence you never experienced before. You want to hear a story? Welcome to the new age of spiritual interaction. We are few of many. Grab the sword and run pot. One story of thousands. This is unearthing the supernatural. <laughs>